Evernote tutorial how to use Evernote for beginners step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on Evernote, how to use Evernote to create notes, organize your projects and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, we will actually go to Evernote.com and we'll land on this website right here. Evernote is an amazing platform and if you're struggling with your everyday projects, if you want to create notes in a very professional way, you want to stay organized, then this is going to be the platform for you. Uh, we can get started for free with Evernote. So the signing up process is pretty simple. You just have to click on sign up right here. All right, so it takes us to the pricing plan of Evernote. You can see we have a free plan uh, that gives us different types of features. We can take notes, we can take up to two devices and then 60 MB of monthly uploads. And this is actually completely free. And then we have the personal and professional plan that we can choose. So I will choose the plan of my choice and click on get started. And now we just have to enter our email address, set up a password and click on continue. So we can also continue with our Google account and it will take us to our Evernote dashboard. After the sign up, this is where you will land. Now you can see this is our Evernote. We can uh, create notes here and I'll show you around everything. We have this menu here where I will be getting this quick add option that allows me to create a new note or a task Then also get the attachment or a sketch option. So you can even sketch with Evernote. Then we have our home. In our home, we get this a preview of our new notes and we can customize our home completely. I will also be getting my, uh, you know, recently captured here, my images in the document documents that I have uploaded. Then we have our shortcuts here, notes, task, notebooks, tags, shared with me and our trash. So uh, let's actually create a note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the new option here and select note from here. All right. So it opens up the notes for me. Uh, so this is our, uh, you know, note that we can create. Let's expand the view. And you can see this is the view for the note. It's quite similar to what we get on our Word. And we also get this with our, you know, Google Docs. So the look is actually pretty simple and it makes it very easy for us to take notes here. Uh, we will enter the title. Let's say I'm actually taking my class notes. So what I like to do is you can just enter your, maybe it's my lecture. So we will enter the name lecture one. Um, after that, we can start writing and drag files or start from a template. So if you like to create notes where you have to insert different types of images, you like to create to do list within a note, you like to add uh, photos, you like to add images, we can uh, use every note for our personal use, we can use it for work and for our studies as well. So this is like all in one pretty good platform to go for. Here, uh, I will just enter, you know, uh, a text. I will just give you an example and write the word text. When you're writing the text at the top, we have insert options. So click on insert and I can insert a task, link, calendar even. Then we have a not link, table, divider, attachment, image, checkbox, card block, sketch and more. So what I will do is let's say I'm actually creating notes for work and I have my lecture one and in my lecture, I have to create a to do list. So I will click on to do list and we will create a task. So my first task is actually to revise and I'm going to add another one, which is going to be submit the assignment. And then we have task three. So within my notes, I have a to do list that I will be working on. After that, I can write the text again, or I can go to the insert option and maybe insert a divider. So the divider will kind of like separate my first portion to the other one. Then I will click on insert and now I want to add a table. So this is the table right here. Uh, first, you can click on this plus button here and it allows you to add a row. And if you click on the top, it allows you to add a column. So this is what it looks like. And now I can create, you know, like this and I'm going to give my subjects here. So let's go with that one like this. So you can see this is a table that I have created within my notes. Now what I can do is I can even change the color. So this is the auto color that is black, but I can change the, you know, default color uh, for the text that I'm writing. So it will change it to, you know, something like gray or we can go with the white. Then we have the highlight, even we have a highlighter. So if I want to highlight something, let's actually write some of the text now. So I will again insert a divider and I will move on to my text. So let me just type in some of the text here to show you. So I have typed in this text here. Uh, now I can click on insert and we can insert an image. 
So you can click on image and it will open up uh, your gallery for you. And you can see our image has been added. We can click on these three dots and we can rename, we can add it, uh, we can add a title as well. So I have added a preview. Uh, we can also, you know, adjust it a little bit if I want to make it a little bigger or smaller so we can adjust the size. Um, after that, we can also change the alignment of the text and the alignment of the image. Uh, then we have this, you know, highlighter option. So what I can do is I can select it. And if I want to, let's say, add something here, I want to highlight. So what we do is, for instance, we have the word this. So you can see it will be highlighted like this. Similarly, I can select the, you know, text from here select the text and select the highlighter and it will be highlighted we can also change the color of the highlight so maybe i can highlight it with pink you can see uh it's actually pretty good how we can create these notes on uh, every note and it's actually a really good way to create our uh, work notes and also our class notes if i want to add an event into it so i can do that this is actually really important we are creating notes for the work so you can go to this calendar section and you will be able to insert a meeting or you can create a a, uh, you know project we can also insert our google calendar into our evernote with there are different integrations that we can add uh, now similarly we have the sketch option we have google drive and we have attachments as well uh, so you can see this is the way we create a node a lot of things to do at the top we can change the alignments we can change the adjustment um, everything we can also insert the tables we can uh, write different formulas for the script and then we can also add to-do lists and checklists within our notes so we can also share or not click on the share option at the top here and you can invite a team member with this shareable link uh, once your note is created it's automatically saved to or you can uh, save it from here and you can see it is named here and i will get my list so this is my notes list here if i want to create my task so creating a task is also really easy i'm just going to go to the quick option here click on the task and now it will take me to the task section we have to select the list where we want to add and then we're going to enter our task name. Let's say I want to create a task for work and I'm just going to go ahead and enter the name. Let's say I have a meeting to attend, right? So we'll just enter the name here and then we can select the date. So, so we can add a due date here. Then we have to add a reminder. We can add a flag for priority and we can also assign it to a team member. So if I were not to do this task, I can assign it to a team member. So Evernote also works as a task management software. So this is actually pretty impressive. Click on create task and your new task will be created right here. Uh, you can go to your notes in test sections separately from these options. And then we have our notebooks and tags. So what I can do is I can create separate notebooks and each notebook can have different notes and we will be able to create different tasks into it. It's just like creating notebooks for a backpack and then you can add different lectures and classes into one notebook and it's a really good way to organize. Then we have shared with me and trash. So this is how you use Evernote as a complete beginner. It's a really good platform to create notes for work, school and for personal use as well. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.